everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I've had some questions on people asking me how I'm doing some of the hummingbird shots that I put up on YouTube. Well, what you're looking at right now is this is my Apple tablet that I got last year on Black Friday at a really good deal. But anyways, um, I've got the app down here, which you're looking at for my GoPro, the Hero 5, and I use a Hero 5. And what you're seeing is actually live feed off the app, but you know, you can also use it on a iPhone or any, any smartphone really. And there's your GoPro. And so you can use it that way too. So I'm using here on the tablet. The reason I'm using it right now on the tablet is it's bigger and it's easier to use, but I'm going to do like a quick, eh, not really a tutorial, but just an idea of how I'm using it and, and how I'm getting some of those hummingbird photos and videos looks like I'm hanging out the window doing it which I sometimes am so that's what this is going to be about right now on how I'm doing the videos on the hummingbirds that are literally 18 inches from my head who don't seem to care whether there's a camera sticking at them or not this is going to be kind of a quick demonstration on how I've been using my hero 5 this is set on narrow and I'll show you soon how it's hanging out the window of my camera. Notice what you can see here and how you change it is simply down here. You tap that, see where it says narrow, and then you pick the setting that you want. So that one was narrow. Now we're going to go to linear and we hit done. And this now is linear, linear which seems to be a favorite for many people. They seem to really like this setting. You get a lot depth of field with it and it doesn't have a fisheye. There's no fisheye to it. And I can see more of the hummingbird feeders. There's three of them there and a little dot. Okay, now let's set it to the next one. Just so you can see an idea. This is medium. We're going to go with medium. We're going to hit done. Now we even have more. So you can see more of this feeder, more of the hummingbirds there. And you can see some flying around. And that's medium setting. Okay, now we're going to go back. Okay, now we're going to do one more. And let's see. Oh, we're going to do a couple more actually. We're going to go to medium. And now we're going to hit wide. I know there's a glare, so I don't, and we're going to hit done. Now we're back there. Now we even have more of the hummingbird feeder. You can see all three, just a little bit you're missing on this side, but you can still see the hummingbirds good. I, I like all the settings. I don't really notice too much of a fisheye and that looks pretty good too. Okay, let's go ahead and change the setting to the last one, which is called super wide. Now we hit done. And we're back on super wide. Now, this does have a fisheye, but you really can get a whole lot of everything in there. So I, it's, it's whatever you're filming, and what's really nice is you can continue to change it. Now, while you're filming, while you've got it recording, you cannot change it. I am not recording anything, whoops, over here. I have it set to video. This is camera, that would be time lapse. But I can hit record at any time. It's very quick. And what I really like about the Hero 5, and I'm sure all the heroes are like that, it's pretty much right on the money. When I hit that button and I hit record, I don't lose any footage. It really starts to record that quick. And so when I see a hummingbird come, and let's say he's feeding on the little dot that I made there, I'll get it. Where I will admit, with the camera I'm using, the Sony camera, where, where I record in the uh, yard, in the garden, I can lose up to five seconds, and I don't even get the shot that I want on video. Maybe photographs, yes, but on video, no. So it's really, really quick. It's off now. And that's it. Then you can go back and you can see what I wanted to see. I hit this, and it brings up all the photos. That's the last one I did. So now here, I can just pick up the video that I just did. It loads, that's what it's doing. And then you just hit play, and now I can check the video. 
See? Now I will say that on the tablet or on your phone, the quality doesn't look that good. Let me stop it. The quality doesn't look that good, but when you put it on the computer, it looks really, really good. I don't use it on 4K. It just takes up too much space. I don't need 4K, but that's it. And then I can go back. Oh, you can mark it. This is if you want to mark a video so you would remember it to come back if it was important. And that's basically it. If you want to go back and start recording again, you're back to live feed again, and then you just record. It's that easy. Let me see. Go, let's go here. Here, as you can see, I tend to use 1080, 60 frames per second. I'm set right now on super wide because I get a whole lot more when it comes to the where the hummingbirds are. And everything else you can just set. I have co uh, the color on auto, sharpness on high. You set it to the way you want, but I think it does really good. Now I'll show you how I've got the it got it set up. Let's swing around, try not to scare everybody off. That is my window that I sit at, at my desk, in my office, in my kitchen. And that is my camera hanging off a selfie stick, wired with bread ties. Is it professionally done? No, because I decided to do this just right now. But it's wired there and it's hanging there. And what is really nice with the Hero, which you really can't do with a regular large camera, is I can set it up, and even though it's just kind of hanging there, hopefully they're really rugged if it falls out the window, I can adjust it the way I want on the tablet, because you hit done. See, I can move the camera anywhere I want. Once I have the picture that I like, then I'm just good to go. It's on the app, so I can step away. I don't have to be near the hummingbirds at all, even though they don't seem to mind me. Like I said, I'm literally a foot and a half from them. But that's it. And you can just hang it out the window. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm still learning as I go along. Gary's brother, Craig, he had talked about it. He got his hero, and he's learning it as well. And Gary's been working with it in his fish ponds, in his garden. And, you know, you, you learn as you play is basically it. And it's that easy. Everybody's got their own settings that they like the best. But I like the idea that I can change it so quickly. And th this is good for anything, even if you're going to spy on your dog. I mean, you know, you can just put it and see what your dog does. But it's just so fast to change the width you know, that you want. And let's go to linear and again hit done. And that's it, I'm back. So if I wanted a really good close up of something, oh, that thought the camera thought I was doing something. If I wanted a really good close up of something, then I can change it to the way I want. And that's what I really like about it. I can sit back eat a bowl of cereal, have a cup of coffee in the morning, and watch the hummingbirds, and get some really good footage of what the hummingbirds are doing as they come up to feed. So this is just on the Hero. I'm using the Hero 5. The reason I like the 5 and any of them up is I do like the settings. You lose these settings here. When you're down and you have uh, the Hero 2018 or 4, you don't have all the super settings on some of them and the Hero 5's got more of these better settings that we use and of course now they're 4k and all that but we're using the 5 and so when you see the hummingbirds and wonder well how is she doing that is she hanging out the window yeah I used to hang out the window now I could just hang my camera out the window ain't that cute look at that bubbles and all and they're feeding I'm not even recording that right now when I'm recording it the button lights up but, but that's it. So I thought I would do a little, little tiny tutorial on how I'm doing some of the footage on the hummingbirds out my kitchen window. Normally, I just roll the screen up on the window that I made. In other words, I popped in a screen up there. See, it's a half screen for this window. And then I just took some screen and I draped it down. It's just hanging there by a weight. If I left the screen off, I'd have hummingbirds all over in the house, which has happened. And then they do go out, so it's no big deal. But this way I can enjoy the hummingbirds. And 
I can film them when I want and I can still leave the screen down. I have actually put a tripod on my table and filmed them that way, but then like I said, they come in the house, they want to see what's going on, they go in and out, and you really don't want hummingbirds in the house. You may think, oh, it sounds glamorous and beautiful. Let me see something. As much as they eat, what goes in must come out, and it's a lot coming out, so you don't want it all over the house. So I hope I gave you an idea of how I'm doing some of my filming and it's a lot of fun and I'm still working with it. So that's it. This is on the Hero 5 and that's how I'm doing some of my footage that's outside. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Oh my gosh, it's so windy today. <laughs> Blew the weight and everything off. Bye-bye everybody. Such a windy day today, guys. I don't even know why I would need a GoPro Hero sticking out the window. When you guys come right to me as soon as I stick my hand out there. All over me and my camera all the time. Well, you don't care. As long as the feeders are full and you got food, that's all you care about. Well, you guys enjoy your food.